we are now going to the underground city of uh, Macau. This is the place where the early Christians live underground to survive prosecution and able to keep their faith. Now it's about one and a half journey right away. We have arrived at the underground city of Makali and we are going for uh, to do some PP first before we go into uh, the underground city. We have been to a couple of toilets in Turkey and they are all chargeable. Usually it's about one and a half lira. Tuf, this is the stone which we call tuf. In the region, it's very soft looking. See, it's actually, even after you touch it, it's falling down. So, in the region, we have that three different types of tuf. First type is after you carve it, it stays as it is, it doesn't change its molecular structure. There's a second one which is starting a kind of an oxidization with air and it's turning very hard. Okay. Really very hard. You can touch it, no problem. You will see what I mean. That's the reason why this underground city actually is still standing. You see, it's changing also in the color. Uh, the third type is a very dangerous type, by the way, because that is a stone which when you light it with fire it turns into a liquid okay but it's it turns into a liquid acid which is very strong if you got a drop on your hand it goes through your hand Oof. so this was one of the reason actually why in this area of Cappadocia in the past we used to have too many people who were suffering lung cancer so the state were forced actually to find out why so many people have been dying always young, in young ages, and why they always had lung cancer. And then uh, after their research, they find out that all those people have been born in such caves with that third mansion stone, and they were starting to breathe since their babyhood. Okay, so in time, all this dust which have been actually storaged in their uh, lungs has been turning into cancer and that was actually the reason which were killing them. For this then the state took a decision and flattened all those areas, so all those villages has been actually emptied. And Eight stories underground for this underground city. <coughs> I was told some underground cities go up to uh, 19 stories underground. We are going down here right now. So it's very narrow. Very interesting. They are going down first, right? So for tall people, the heat will hit the ceiling, definitely. <laughs> well, you can play hide and seek here very well. Eh? There are other rooms over there. There are some more rooms in there, okay, to have a look. It, there are many, many tiny, tiny passages to explore here. Uh, I think if uh, sometimes people can get lost here, you know. People who did not know about the st structure of the underground city could easily fell in all these holes actually, even in the past. What's the purpose to, to make a hole? What's the purpose for a hole? Yeah. 
There can be many purposes for it. Actually here, where we stay right now, this was the food storage. Mm -hmm. So they were storaging food here. And when we speak about storages then, uh, they were not storaging food only for themselves, but also for their animals, because they used to have here also living animals. In the upper floors, the bigger animals, like horses, cows, whatever. In the lower floors, then more sheep, goats, uh, pigs, chicken, and so on. Okay, because you cannot move the big animals through such tunnel systems, that's impossible. But small animals, yes. And you have to feed them. If you do not feed your animals, they die. Then you can't obtain any products of them. And that was important, especially during the assaults of enemies. Uh, you had to keep your anim animals always really alive to obtain milk. Uh, from the milk you were producing, like uh, cheese, yogurt, butter, whatever, eggs, of course, from the chicken. Uh, you were using the pelts of them. Yeah. So. The bones you could use for uh, tools for soap, as an example, if you boil enough, then you obtain even soap from the bones. And here, in this uh, food storage, you see this is a mortar. I don't know if you remember such stones from the past. I remember from my auntie, actually, she used to have one at home, and they were grinding Exactly, this is a grinder. They were grinding corn. And you can grind the corn actually the way you want, from um, fine to finer until wheat flour actually. Okay, so, and here there is a hole, and through that hole, uh, all the cracked wheat or flour were running into this hole where they used to have big barrels actually, huge big barrels in the ground, and they were collecting it there. And from here, whenever the kitchen were asking for new flour or cracked wheat or whatever, they were sending to the kitchen. And this is only one example, by the way. They had many more of those of these kind of uh, grinders and storages. Okay, so. I'm squatting and walking. Not enough room to stand. Inside. No, but no, no way. Because uh, you need a rescue. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't matter. The oh, thickness no, no, no. is still we'll big we'll enough. We'll and um, during all these ages, since three and a half thousand years, there have been so many earthquakes. These underground cities are still stable, and actually they are like a bunker, even against nuclear. Uh, attacks. So Even the days you could use them, so they're strong. Well, since the last 1,000 years after they discovered, they uh, made research. Actually, since the last 1,000 years, there was nobody here anymore. Okay. So since the last 1,000 years, it's empty. So it's how abandoned. Long was it used for? Until the 10th century. Okay. Yeah. That's why we say thousand years. We are in the 21st century. Go back a thousand years. It's like 10th, 11th centuries. And that's it. And then uh, the landscape was anyway conquered by the Seljuks and got under the autonomy of the Seljuks. And all those wild attacks of the Arabs, whatever they end. Yeah. Is the ventilation shaft? Okay. okay. My God. Amazing. We are going up now. We are done with going down and we're going up now. The ceiling 
uh, because the stone has got something else very interesting. It's like a filter. The stone is filtering the smoke up to 70% actually. So only around 30% of the smoke is really rising out. The rest is observed. And from time to time, to refresh the layers, they were uh, cutting parts of the layers, okay, like two, three millimeters, okay, when they were too dark, and then uh, to refresh so that they were able to breathe again, okay. And uh, actually, when they were under assault, do not think that they were cooking every day. I mean, they did not have the luxury to cook every day, and it was too dangerous because they did not want that uh, enemies might see their smoke rising out of the ventilations, otherwise, they could. Uh,